Hey guys, welcome back. This is Roshan, and today I'll be showing you how to automate email sending using PHP Mailer. And I will also be providing the project files, and link for that will be down in the description. So today we are supposed to be working on a domain but due to some technical issues my domain is down so we'll be doing it on a local server so i already have my sam server running and uh, let me show you the site let me give a tour of it so it's the site which i built for a resort a few months back so this is the home page and uh, this is the about page bit of animation and all that stuff and uh, this is gallery and this is the facility page which will give you details about the facilities what we'll get in a room and I've also included glyph, glyph icons to you know give a good look and a bit of animation and our main concern is the booking page so it's contact page where I have already implemented the automated emailing system via PHP mailer so let's let me give you a demo the name email address phone number arrival date departure date room adults and uh, children and special requirement let's say you want a green tea early in the morning so green tea at seven o'clock and click the send button so our request is being processed and you can see that our page is being redirected thank you uh, as you see we are back to our index page so let's check our email and as you can see we have a new mail and uh, you can see the details here i have implemented a nice good looking email template here so if you want to know how to make a email template then I'll, I'll put a card in top right corner and you can watch the video so enough of this demonstration let's get into the code and see how we actually did it so let's go to the sam server so let's go to the server files htdocs and uh, periar okay We'll open the booking to dot php uh, which is a booking page so basically what you need to know is uh, you have a form and with action given to email client dot php which is in a php mailer folder and we have given the method post we have different fields name email and the arrival date departure date all that stuff and a bit of php code to post the data from this page to the other page which is email client dot php so that will post our data to the email client.php where the other processing emailing system is implemented so we have a button with the action submit and it will use to submit the data so let me show you the email client.php file go to php mailer email client so it's a basic template we can modify it i'll provide this and uh, what we have here is a uh, which i've commented is it's a smtp debug if at all any error happens you can find it through this next we have host which is in my case i have given ssl colon double slash smtp.gmail.com if you're using a gmail if you're using a webmail then it will change accordingly you might have to look into the server details and next is smtp authentication we have set to true username as gmail id password gmail password and uh, smtp secure encryption um, those are of two types ssl and tls so i have used an ssl for ssl the port number is 465 and for tls if you want to use tls then the port number is 587 so that's about the details and you can also you will also have to set the from address and the sender name and you have email address to where the email should be sent so as i've given it my email address so the email will come to me you can also 
provide an attachment and uh, we have subject in this case i have given booking request to peri arnest and we have body in body i have implemented a email template uh, which you saw earlier so as i told you you can check the video and uh, make your own email template it also has few php code to fetch the data from the booking 2.php which i told you earlier the submission will post the data to this page that's why we get the details here we have an alt body and if the email fails to send it's due to any error then we'll get an error message the email could not be sent echo mail error so it will echo out the particular message whatever you give and if the email is successful then it will forward you to thank you.php thank you.php is the file which thank you page which you saw i also show that to you guys so it's basically html page with some php code and some javascript so the javascript which we use for this for the redirection purpose so it's 10 or 12 lines so we have a document dot ready function and we have two vars with the var number assigned as 3 and var url which is the path to our page which is index.html and we have a countdown function and we have set the timeout to 1000 countdown 1000 and we are specifically targeting the box dollar hash box which is a box div with an id box so let me show you that so as you can see the bo the id box does not have any content in it but we are making content appear on it using javascript so basically what we're doing is we are using javascript and uh, uh, implementing a html code in it so that is dollar box dot html redirecting in that you see and uh, we have number in seconds the number is 3210 and that's a uh, you know live count so in next step we have number minus minus which is number is equal to number minus one guys you know some c or c plus plus you might understand that so at each time at each second the number is reduced by one so three two one zero and in our next step we are checking if the number is zero if the number is zero that is that the countdown if it has come to zero then we are redirecting so window.location url so in, in our case url is index.html so we will be redirected to the particular page if not due to some technical issues if you have to uh, the it didn't work due to internet issues or some you know code version so we'll forcibly assign the number to zero so that is what we are doing in the next step number assigning number as zero so that will create the redirection it's very simple code nothing much complicated if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and uh, i'll try to answer them if you like this website please hit a like button and uh, please be subscribed to watch more of my contents and uh, thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys next time bye bye